Hello, my name is Data. Hope you're doing well. The PS5 has a bunch of really good mods. I'm going to focus on some of the environmental and immersive type mods in this episode. And as you can see, it is foggy here. It is kind of clear. The lighting is on. And the first one I want to mention, there's a lot of different lighting mods, but I'm going with Obscura Skytune Lighting and Weather over Overhaul by V B Very of A. And this changes it into a more fantastical type of lighting. If you're going for realism, this may not be the one for you, but it definitely changes the lighting without making it too obstructive. There's also lampposts that have been put up on the pathways. So I'll go into Skyrim is Windy. That is a good one to add. That'll make all the trees and a lot of the flora move. Very immersive. New grass, green Skyrim. If you like a more green Skyrim instead of the vanilla, this one works very well with a lot of other mods, which is in tandem with Julie Ha's Dirt Replacer, Landscape Overhaul Improved. And that changes the pathways to make them look more green or maybe mossy. All right, I'm taking a walk. From the standing stones, you can see there's a lot more trees, the environment and the lighting has changed. There's lamp posts along the path, definitely looks a lot more green. You can see it's still foggy out, and yet the lighting is very good. I'm headed towards Riverwood here. There's some more lanterns. Help make the path a little more immersive. And as I'm walking through, you can see the trees are moving. Skyrim is windy now. That adds a lot to the immersion, in my opinion. All right, headed into the next couple mods will be Lamp Post of Skyrim Special Edition by Mika Ghost seen a couple of those on the path over here. Bridges of Skyrim by Mika Ghost. We'll see a few of these in the video. Changes out the bridges so they're not all the standard vanilla ones. And immersive fallen trees, which you see in some of the forests in different areas. It just adds a little bit more to the look of the landscape and louder nature, birds, and insects. Uh, if you like sounds, this one's really good. It adds a lot, especially in the foresty areas. So as I'm walking into Riverwood during the daytime, why don't I stop talking for a little bit and we can check out the insects, nature and birds. There's some more lamp posts. You can see it's a beautiful, clear day. Well, it looks like a courier has appeared. He has something for me. Okay. Well, again, as you can see, everything looks a lot more greener. The lighting is a little more crisp, maybe a little more fantasy. Trees are moving. It's a beautiful day in Riverwood, and there's a bridge up here. So since we have the different bridges mod, let's see which one is in Riverwood. Looks like a wooden covered bridge. Really cool. It replaces the stone bridge. There's the clear water. It looks very nice. It looks very blue and clear. We jump in there and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, the visibility has definitely been improved with all the greenery. 
Oh, that looks really pretty. Walking towards White Run now, along the path, through the nature. All right, the next couple mods will be Oceanic Waves by Alan, which is going to change the water. And I-92's Epic Enhanced Waters by Imperial Agent 1992. This should make the water a lot more clear, maybe a little bluer, depending on the lighting. All right, I am in Dawnstar. Dawnstar has been changed with a different mod, but I think I can get to the water, the ocean area there. You can see the water is looking way more blue and alive with waves crashing into the beach. That's pretty cool. The water before ben in, or in vanilla is kind of static. This brings it to life. That's very cool. Right, let's look at some of the next mods that I have going on is simply more trees. We've seen a lot more trees all over the place. This is the mod for that. It adds 2,000 trees to the game and ancient land. As you're crossing across Tamriel, you will see, or across Skyrim, you will see many new structures. Those can only add to the immersion. All right, I'm over in Iverstad now, let's see what the water and bridge looks like over here. The bridge has been changed. Looks like some unlit. There's no fire in there to light the way. Maybe it turns on at night. But the water looks pretty good. Looks very clear. What a beautiful view that is. Headed towards the 7,000 steps. And there's a lot of mods in this game to cover just in one video. I could do a whole nother video on the cities. This one's A Taste of a City Full of Life by Dennis83 Whiterun. Just adds a lot of trees and insects. And a lot of different flora. Just makes it feel a little bit more alive. And with the Obscura colors, it makes it look very nice. All right, that'll do it for this video. Hope some of those mods helped you out. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Stay safe out there, adventurer. Bye-bye.